Hi, I'm Michelle Beck, and I'm going to show you how to make a recycled t-shirt necklace. It's very easy, very simple, and very stylish. First, you're going to need an old recycled t-shirt. This one I got from my husband's closet. It's just been collecting dust, and instead of throwing it away, I'm going to repurpose it. The next two items I'm going to need is a mat cutting board and a ruler. This ruler is clear and it has lines that go down vertically through the ruler lengthwise and that's going to help me as I make the cuts to get an even width for each strip. The next is a cutter. I have a rotary cutter. It's very nice and I just replaced the blade so it's cutting very smoothly. But you can use scissors or any other cutting instruments that you would have. The first step in preparing for this is going to be getting my t-shirt set out. I'm going to put it on the end of the t-shirt on top of my cutting mat. I'm going to fold it in half widthwise so that the two t-shirt sleeves meet up at the same side. Since I'm left-handed, I'm going to lay the shirt out to my left side with the end of the shirt in front of me to cut. If I was right-handed, it'd be the other way. I'm going to kind of press it out, making sure that my lines are straight and they match up. I'm only going to be cutting strips up into the armpit of the shirt. After that, um, you'd have to close up the armholes and the length of the strips become shorter and we want them to be all the same size. The first cut that I'm going to make is to cut the hem off. Now this we're not using for the craft so it can be thrown away or you can probably just save it to this side. I'm sure that uh, we can think of another craft to use this for, either a headband or strings to a purse. So I'm just going to set that to the side in hopes that maybe I could use it again and not waste it. I'm going to use this mat to uh, drag along the bottom of the t-shirt. That way I don't have to move the t-shirt once I have it in place and accidentally you know, undoing some of the straight lines that I have in the fold. The next cuts I'm going to make are all of my strips. My strips are going to be three quarters of an inch wide. You could use a fourth an inch wide, but I wouldn't go any smaller or larger than those two sizes. It just doesn't match with this craft. So three quarters of an inch. That's what's nice about this ruler is I could see three quarters of an inch all the way through to make sure that the entire cut is going to be the same throughout and very consistent. I'm going to place a firm pressure down onto the t -sh ruler onto the t-shirt and I'm going to cut with my dominant hand which is my left hand from bottom to top. I'm going to use the edge of the ruler as a guide to make it straight. The reason why I go bottom to top is because you can have a consistent pressure throughout your entire cut. And I'm just going to set the strips to the side as I'm working Placing a firm pressure, bottom to top. If some of the strips don't cut all the way, you can use scissors to snip what didn't get cut the first time. You'll just kind of keep going until you're done. The next step after you have all of your strips cut is to lay them in front of you and to get ready to start stretching them. This is a very simple process, just you're going to unfold them and place the bands in between through your th or around your thumbs and I'm going to pull them apart from each other to stretch the fabric and you'll notice what you want to look for what you want to get out of that stretch is the the outside of the fabric will curl in onto itself and creating almost like a a seam down the strip and you'll see that it rolls kind of in on it on itself I like this because it will kind of hide small imperfections in my cutting. If I have some jagged raw edges, it will hide all of that. So I don't have to be too nitpicky as I'm cutting. Just set those aside and you're just going to work in kind of an assembly form. Once you get all of them stretched tightly, you can bunch them up. This is a t-shirt that I've been working on. It's a green one and this fabric after I was done cutting, I still have the rest of the t-shirt to use. I can use it for scrap fabric, I won't get rid of it. Or I can use, if there's something sentimental on it, I can use it into a t-shirt quilt or save it somehow and make a, another craft out of it. Once I get all of them 
stretch tightly together into a group, I'm going to start molding into my necklaces. There's a, a couple different variations you can do. The first one is just a simple one. You just make a figure eight out of your necklace. So you're just going to figure eight and bring the two ends together. That's your first necklace. It creates a, a nice, simple, clean look around your neckline. I love the color that I've used. You can also add more to this necklace to create a really warm scarf around your neck. The next one, I'm just making sure that I've got all the loops together and I'm not going to... Oh, see I kind of got one that was off there and that's okay. I'm just going to kind of pull it out and reline it up with my group there. The next one adds a little more embellishment to the necklace. I'm going to take it and with one of my hands I'm just going to twist once and then twice. Um, you could do a third time, it's just up to you, whatever you feel like doing at that moment. Bring the two ends together, make the opening wider to fit around your head, and there I've created and there I've created a knot or an embellishment at the end of the necklace. Um, I encourage you to mix and match colors. You can intermix colors within the necklace itself or just even layer the different colors together, one on top of another. There was a shirt that I made, this white one, and it had seams down the sides of the shirt. Everything would be the same up until this point for this shirt. The one thing though before you wind it together to make the figure eight would be to save an individual band out, get them all wound, stretched and tightened, putting the, making sure that the uh, seams are at the two ends and then you're going to figure eight and put them all at to one end. So all the seams are kind of in a pile up at kind of the back end of the necklace. Then I'm going to take that other strip that I saved and I'm going to coil it over top all of the seams to cover them and to create a clean look. That way also you're not getting an itching feeling at the back of your neck. I tied it off a little bit and let the extra hang. You won't see it once it's laying down on your neck but also this way I can untie it and use these to be able to intermix into something else if I wanted to or I can just keep it like this. That is the recycled t-shirt necklace. I hope you have fun and I hope you love this craft as much as I do. Thank you. Bye.